Oh man, the views are going up really quickly here. Oh, what could it be? Clearly my glowing performance today, dealing with tech issues, or perhaps my bassy man voice, or maybe, just maybe, it's that they understand the quality of the content that I create. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a buildup of work I've done over the years. Or maybe it's the tits. And when they see them, they're like, can I see more? <laughs> jump into the next episode, huh? Hey, would you like to do that with me, chat? Would you like to jump into that? Because well, we, uh, I talked a bit about this last time. We took a big break between season two and season three. We had a bunch of time in between. So we, you know, got to take some time away. And we came back to season three with a lot of, like, renewed energy. For this episode, we decided to take it a very different route. Because episode 31, we kind of had the internal debate of, like, hey, do we do the Garlic Jr.'s the infamous filler saga? There's filler all throughout DBZ. But Garlic Jr. is the infamous filler plot. Uh, and it is bad because it destroys any sense of power scaling, but it's okay. Super's proven that's not an important thing anymore anyways. Yeah, see? I drive by Super every now and then. They just reset shit. That's what they- every arc reset it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Now we have new color Gokus. Anyways, folks, let's jump in here and let's watch episode 31, which is one, probably one of the, my favorite episodes we made. We wanted to kind of like really tell a really succinct story uh, by utilizing clips all around a couple of episodes and just like re-editing them into a whole new plot. And yeah, and that's what this episode was. And I'm, I'm really proud of what we got to do with this one. I'm happy that we got to start the whole season this way because it was a good way to just start with some fun. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT turtle, are all turtle, owned by turtle, Funimation, turtle, Toy Animation, turtle, turtle, and turtle, 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 I love turtle. No, please, leave us alone. We were just renting this house. We never meant to. He's back! Yes, though this rain may wash these fools away, the blood that soon shall flow, no storm shall meet the task. I will cover this That's right, everybody. in the darkness so thick and chilly. The only rival shall be the hell in which I spent all those years. Brace your brittle selves, you worms, for I, Garlic Jr., shall soon rule you all. And now a custom intro made by Scott. The wacky adventures of Popo and Kami are so weird in this. This whole arc is bizarre. Ass and titties. Ass, 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 ass and titties. Ass, titties. Ass and titties. Ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. A fish, ass, titties. At life in its saltwater habitat. Fist near to extinction by the inhabitants, they are slowly making headway back to a sustainable population. A sweet, salty Christ, no. Hey, That's four on. fish. That's go a lot. Fishing? Yep, with that gone, I'm the breadwinner now. Well, what's with the weird clothes, Krillin? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I love that in this filler arc, okay, despite it being bad filler, I love how Krillin's dressed. God damn. Look at that drip. Let it, look at that fit. Whatever the whatever the terminology is, just look how well dressed and well suited this man is. He has, has a fitting hat. He got the hat to match his tie, and this man is Juan Sanchez, a well dressed drip machine. Uh, 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 uh. My name is no longer Krillin. My new name is Juan Sanchez. <laughs> I'm compelled to ask why. Well, before why? we left for Namek, I took out a huge life insurance policy on myself. This is the stupidest joke, because how could they confirm? I don't know, whatever, they did. And left Moving it on. all to my twin brother. But you don't have a twin... Wait, your last name's Sanchez? And it paid off in triple mm -hmm. because I died off planet. They said, don't worry, there's no way you're going to die out in space. Show them! Well, I'm still going to call you Krillin. <laughs> yeah, you sure so, did. Sure what did do you Krillin. think of my new ride? Eh, it's a nice car, I guess. Not what I was referring to. Oh boy. I broke a nail. Can I have a thousand dollars? Okay, so introduce Marin. Now, Marin, I went. God, because I remember watching Z when it came out and stuff. When it got to this part in the actual anime, uh, when it got to the actual part in this anime, I was just confused because I thought that was Bulma. It's like, no, that's also a different character. I'm like, why does she look like Bulma? That's so confusing. 
Episode 31 is my favorite episode to take the audio and make new animations. Oh, color theory, Eli. The animations or storyboards, mostly because it's the most standalone of the slice of life. The scene in the next one with Bulma and Yamcha especially. I wish we had more of that in the show. I really did. But, like, truthfully, there's not a lot of animation of just, like, actual conversations. It's just a lot of panning shots. I broke a nail. Can I have a thousand dollars? You can have two. Gohan, I am an excellent boyfriend. Krillin, how did you meet this woman? We met at the bank. I was there picking up my life insurance money, and she was there depositing her money from her night job. I think she's a waitress or something, because she was depositing a lot of fives and ones. And me and my dear, sweetie little chestnut fell deeply, truly in love. Oh, she I says I have bad. a very rich personality. And a wealth mm -hmm. of knowledge. And her boobs are as big <laughs> as my head. I have made the comparison. By the way, I want you to understand right now that every time Gohan talks, I all I hear is Lisa Simpson. As far as I'm concerned, like, we had a lot of Homer Simpson in our version of Goku, but we had so much Lisa Simpson in Gohan, essentially, in the character. And it's one of the reasons why he's like, you can just hear it like, Lisa, you can even hear Lisa saying, I'm compelled to ask why. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's kind of, kind of channeled that a little bit, but that's also the juxta in The Simpsons, where it's an idiot father and, uh, you know, a really smart child who's smarter than the actual adult, technically. So that's one of the reasons why it was fine to ape that because it's one of the best examples of it. So, you going to the party tonight? I don't know. Mom wasn't a huge fan of that Walking Dead theme party. Previously on TFS's The Walking Dead. <laughs> hey, what's the difference between The Walking Dead and DBZA? One ended on a high note. One's not ending on a die note. hi -o! See you later, Gohan. Goodbye, Gonad. Master Hoshi's. Eh, say what you want. They're a good couple. <laughs> no, they're not, Gohan. You ever think about buying a house? Oh yeah, let me get right on that with all that money I don't have. Well, you ever thought about getting a job? I'm a green slug man. No amount of affirmative action is going to get me a job. If you say so. By the way, that old guy's been standing there for like 15 minutes. Maybe you should say something. Ah, <sighs> fine. What do you want, Kami? Mr. Popo has kicked me off the lookout for the night. Apparently, he has a <laughs> booty call. Here it comes. Jinx! 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 Shut up, bitch! You love it! Myself and Nick will never apologize for the Jinx jokes. We never will. We never will. The Jinx joke is absolutely beyond fucking hilarious to us. It's like, yeah, Mr. Popo has sex with Jinxes. The Pokemon? Yeah. Why? Why do you think? Jinx is voiced by Lanny. So every time you hear that, Lanny is literally fucking himself. Like I have becoming a VTuber. hi -oh! There we go. Okay, let's keep going here. Last time he did this, I found five corpses. He laughed when I said five. Well, what do you want from me? I was hoping I could stay at your house. I don't have calm a down, house. Just calm down! Calm down! Just calm down! He'll never be calm. I'll never See, be what calm. what I tell you? Shut up, Nail. Is someone in there? Hello, Kami! He can't hear you. Actually, I can. Hello there. Who are you? I'm Nail. I'm a Namekian piccolo <laughs> fused with on Namek. You do know that technique is forbidden, piccolo. Your face is forbidden! Sadly, that was the best one up here. Shut it, Nail! <laughs> Oh, nice of you to bring your new girlfriend here, Juan. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. At first, we kind of thought you brought home a hooker. Yamcha! Oh, we did? I can assure you that my darling, beautiful Marin is no hooker. Well, that depends. Sometimes I take extra cash in the back room, but those are always under the table, so I don't think they count. How much extra? How much you got? Well, I am a professional baseball player. Okay, first off, no one screws Yamcha <laughs> but life. Second of all, blue hair, real original. Third, Juan, <laughs> don't you have any other friends you can take Marin to meet? Well, we saw Gohan earlier, but he was busy pounding the tuna. What? With Goku gone, Chi Chi needs someone to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we also stopped by Corin and Yajirobe's. What? This is my, I think my favorite scene in the episode is this one. And I love that Kaiser plays both Yajirobe and Corin, so he's in a gay relationship with himself. What? That's some self-love I'm talking about. This brunch is delicious, Yajirobe. Thank you, I cooked everything myself. So, if you two had babies, would they be little fat men or kitties? And we are leaving! Probably fat kitties. 
I really love that we made that. Probably fat kitties. <laughs> Just imagine, like, I want you to meet all my friends. Oh, no, it's a bad thing. Happy birthday. Thank you. My favorite Thank character. Turtle, so turtle, here, not the turtle, here, the I best turtle's a birthday. And for this marvelous cake. Isn't that thing kind of a fire hazard? Well, of course, turtle. You're our very best friend. My birthday was last week, and I didn't get a party. You've been there for us from the very beginning. Anyone remember when I saved the world from Pilaf? Like a member of the family, I say. Seriously, I live upstairs. Oh my gosh, someone got whoever's birthday it is a turtle. Can Fuck I have you, a turtle? Long. Sure. Oh, can it be this turtle? Of course. Wait, what? Turtle, be my wingman on this one. If I get some, I swear to God, I will send you pictures. Deal. Seriously, maybe we want to blow this out before something catches on. Shh. Ah, my beard! My glorious beard, no! My glorious beard, no! It just, it's, it, it's fantastic, it's hilarious, and we kill him immediately. Okay, so, okay. This next line, I know they've already talked about it probably in the their version of this, everybody, which you're watching on this channel, or my channel, or Twitter, or live right now. This l joke is so funny that a lot of people don't even realize what's being said because it's so nonchalantly said. Let's hear it again. Yeah. So solemn. Hey, Krillin. So polite. What are you doing out here? Why aren't you upstairs sleeping with your girlfriend like everyone else? Oh, hey, Turtle. <laughs> I'm just up thinking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it always gets me. It's just... <laughs> uh, God, it's good. It's because Turtle's doing it. It's because it's Turtle saying it. <laughs> oh, God, Scott plays Oolong, Corrin, Yajirobe, Turtle in this episode. God damn it, Scott is crushing Why it this episode. Why are you upstairs sleeping with your girlfriend like everyone else? Oh, hey, Turtle. I'm just up thinking to myself. What you thinking about? It's just, I'm not sure if Marin loves me for who I really am. It's all presents and traveling and caviar and- Beluga? No, no. Pauzu tuna. Well, that's rare. And it's just, I just don't know if she loves yes, yes. Juan or Juan's money. How much money do you have? Uh, about 5.7 million. Didn't you get me a gift card from the Gap? Not what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, look. It's for a lot if of she money. really does love you for who you are, then you have to tell her the truth. Open up to her. It's the only way. Are you sure that'll work? Well, if it doesn't, you could always get her a giant pearl. What? Bitch is a gold digger. Okay, first we're going to go by Lush because all of their soaps look like cakes and I want to eat them. Oh, and I hope you remember to make those reservations for Le Nucere at 7.30. I hear they're very uptight. And can I really go through with this? She seems so happy. No, no, Krillin! Stop focusing on that perfect heart-shaped pillow of an ass! Tonight, you will tell her! And then you will tap that! Please tap that! I mean, I mean, I, I, I look, listen, 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 he's a man, he's a man, he's a man, and he will go to war over that, men have done that, don't forget the entire Battle of Troy is just because some king got cucked. Oh my god, I just love nice walks on the beaches, oh, do you think if I swam out far enough I'd reach Australia, oh my god, can we go on a sandals vacation? Listen, Marin, I need to talk to you. Worry, Wonton. I made the reservations for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I need to come clean. See, my name isn't actually Juan Sanchez. It's Krillin. That is a silly name. <gasps> I'll call you Krilly Billy. <laughs> Krilly Billy. In the end, Krillin needs the girl to like him. It's, the, it's like in the end, she, he he feels like he's lying to her. He's like, Nah, nah, I don't want you to get mixed up in this. People die, and you know, in the end. Krillin's like, I gotta be real with you. If we're gonna do this, I, I gotta be real with you about who I am. You know, I can't. I, 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 it's not just about sex. It's about I want to enjoy. I want. I want to love. But here comes. We just dramatically describe what happens in the plot. It sounds so fucking insane. So I'm just gonna let it play, and we'll just drink in this amazing performance. That's not everything. You see, all this money I own is actually from my own life insurance policy, from when I died. 
on another planet, blown up by an evil space emperor, but was then brought back to life by a magical dragon. Uh huh. But what I really want to ask Marin is, do you love me for me, or do you just love me for my money? Oh, Krilly Billy, of course I don't just love you for your money. You, you really mean that? I never loved you at all. Can we at least still try the sex stuff? No, Krillin, you don't understand. I was never really your girlfriend. See, I'm with the state's fraud bureau, and you just confessed to a lot of insurance fraud. Got him! Which I recorded. Wait, you have a recorder on you? Where? In my boobs. Purses! The one place I couldn't reach! The idea of Marin being a, like, <laughs> working for the IRS is funny as fuck to me. It's just so priceless to me that we were able to make that work and instead of her just being the i'll call it what it is like just the, the ditzy oh my god valley girl character that she is we actually got to be like what she was playing that's a character she was playing to get the real thing which she wanted which was the tax fraud it's just a made-up plot that we just made up out of our pulled out of our butts to explain why krillin has all this exorbitant amounts of money i'm going to prison aren't i well normally mm. you would but do you have any idea what they do to guys like you no you'll just have to pay back everything you owe wait what about all the money i spent on you you'll just have to pay that out of pocket <laughs> but i dropped over 500 grand on you honey i work for the government i never claim to be a good person and that's why I need a place to stay. It, it, I'll go blow up the air mattress. I do have to admit, though, it's nice being a free man again. No way to get my heels. Here it comes. You know what I mean? <gasps> All right, I demand to know who has been spreading rumors that I've been forcing Gohan to, and I quote, pound my tuna. Look, Chi Chi, if it really upsets you, we'll all take turns pounding your tuna, okay? But only if we get to eat it together. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Master Roshi. Lanny's laugh is great. Again, I love that we had a, kind of an original plot for this whole episode. And we and well, hold on, wait, what? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Oh right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benjamin. <laughs> the view hasn't changed a bit. Oh, here we go. Up. I beg your pardon? Have you any inkling that simple little head of yours who you're speaking to? Oh, please, do go on. I am the usurper of this once proud throne your worthless guardian holds so dear. I am Garlic Jr., returned from the wretched abyss known as the Dead Zone. And I have come for what's rightfully mine. What's going on? Best fake out ever. I don't remember releasing the black one I missed just yet. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Popo, I'm back, and I oh my me, what happened to the lookout? Oh, don't mind this, Kami. <laughs> I just had a bit of Italian for dinner. What does that have to do with? Because it was nothing but garlic. All right, we're going to episode 32. Now, from episode 31 onwards to about episode 34, I think we're just, it's just like perfect. So this episode is, continues on where we left off, which is, you know, um, pretty much everyone's just hanging out. Everyone's just vibing, doing that thing, that thangy thing, doing that thingy thingy thing. We're going to jump right into this one here. I have a million comments about this episode. Hey, Yamcha. Thanks for coming mm. by and picking up the rest of your stuff. Hey, no problem. I mean, didn't have to, you know, throw out most of it. Eh, you were dead and it was taking up space. Much like your corpse. <laughs> uh, where did you bury me anyway? Bury? <laughs> this is so fucked up. So, Boma, how's the single life treating you? It's been nice, actually. Had a dream about Vegeta last night. You slut! Calm you down, Yamcha. You're walking in a park. You slut! Yamcha's an influencer in the manosphere. I'm kidding. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, first off, we're not even dating. Second of all, I don't even like him. Third, he's probably running out of fuel soon, so God knows if he'll ever make it back here. <laughs> oh! I'm back, bitches! Shotgun! Shotgun! It's the Prince of All Saiyans! It's the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta! It's the 
Let's begin now! Sweetie, roll out the cot. I think we have a visitor. Is he colored? I'm not sure. I never opened my eyes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love that joke. That's oh, great. Hey, you've got a lot of nerve coming back here. Oh, a valet. Neat. I'm not tipping. Don't you remember who I am? We fought when you landed on Earth. No, I fought Kakarot. Mm -hmm. Nappa fought everyone else. Yeah. Well, except for that one scrub who got killed by a cyber. <laughs> oh, yeah? I dare you to come over here and laugh at me. Ha. 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 Yeah, see, now we can laugh together. Okay, seriously? We have enough to clean up without a pool of Yamcha's urine. That was a perfect, like, like, Lanny's great as Vegeta, but Falero as Yamcha in this scene. Yeah, I'm glad we can joke together. Like, you hear the fear in his voice, but he's still trying to, like, be brave, and it's what I love the performance that he's giving uh, for Yamcha. It's so perfectly nuanced for where his position is on the totem pole. Because this isn't a power scaling, this is a comedy. So, like, Yamcha having a consistent character is really important for a lot of payoffs of jokes. You, come with me. What? Why? Because you need a shower. I can smell you from East City. How's it specific to smell you from East City? Yeah, you better run. <laughs> I'm setting out some new clothes for you, and I'm gonna wash your armor. Fine, but be careful. Oh yes, he was looking at her ass, by the way. He was totally. Like, by the way, let's look. Has him. All right, let's look. Eye line is. Yep, he's looking right at that ass. Yep, yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Ma he he continue. He he maintains eye contact the whole time. Like he, he doesn't break from it. I smell you from these cities. Yeah, you like, literally. Like, like, like literally, no, no, literal, literally, li literally, he can't. He's like, oh, dad ass. I've been in space for almost a year. I heard you had a saga while I was gone. I'm really horny. <laughs> That's Vegeta, everybody. Okay. Hey, I'm setting out some new clothes for you, and I'm gonna wash your armor. Fine, but be careful. There's a dry clean only. Whatever. No, seriously, they lose their elasticity. Hello? I just, I just imagine he's just standing still. She keeps pushing him into like, what do I do? Go in there. Turns it on. All right. Do I stand here? What do I do? Ah, it's water. So, Vegeta's living here now? That's neat. It's like, this is this is the reality. He Like, Vegeta's responsible for a lot of dead people. So the fact that he's just casually here hanging out with everybody, it's kind of fucked. Like, like everything in the, you know, in the, the fucking, you know, Frieza saga and shit was like circumstantial. But now he's back on Earth. Why? It's honestly shocking he would even come back. The man single-handedly responsible for murdering most of the entire gang is taking a shower in the other room. Neat is not the first word that comes to mind. Okay, so I just got a look at Vegeta's ass, and besides being surprisingly nice, he's got this weird hole. Uh, yeah, even boys have those, Bulma. Okay, that's a message to all you ladies in the chat. Boys poop. No, you idiot! I mean a hole above that one! You mean he's a chick? Earth woman, where's the cleansing powder? We don't have that here. We have soap. The hell is soap? It's that yellow block there made of animal fat. That sounds awesome. Ow. Bah! This tastes nothing like what you just said. See, Go Goku and Vegeta are like the same person. But just like with the same kind of thought process and everything. That's why they just want to fight. But they take things very literally. It's nothing like what you just said. Okay, I changed my mind. This is pretty neat. Is that the beta male? No, Krillin just got here. Oh, God, they're breeding. <laughs> I love that joke. I love that joke. I is no. Oh, oh, there's more. Ah, <laughs> oh, he remembers Krillin. He remembers Krillin. Hey, Chief Three Star, I will fucking kill you. I swear, the only thing I hate more than weaklings is the color pink. There it is. The home of the brute who dared laid hands on my darling little angel. Yes, daddy. And now here we have Ben playing King Cold, and now we have the wonderful and little Rebo back as Frieza 
fa 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 Frieza. What a pretty little blue pearl it is. What was it called? Yarp? Actually, it's pronounced Earth Daddy, 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 Daddy. Really? But there's an A in it. I'm just going to keep calling it Earth. Mm. It doesn't really matter anyway. Soon it'll have a brand new name. Vacant lot. Son of a bitch! That's well, not good. Ticked off about the shirt? No, I'm. Well, yes, actually, I'm absolutely livid. But that's not the point. That idiot Kakarot failed. Frieza's still alive. Chelsea. My shirt. Do you feel that? There are two enormous power levels approaching oh my God. the planet. Yeah. See, last time this happened, I blew myself up. Yeah. I was gonna ask you to hold off on that this time. <laughs> See, now we just have to carve out an area, and then we'll start building the high hey, hey, do you feel that? Frieza? No! Uh, no! Okay, I'm right here. Please stop yelling. Here it comes. Krillin, calm down. Now are you sure it's him? Gohan, once you've had a man inside of you, you know when he's coming. There's my snuggle princess. <laughs> <laughs> engineer, the pet. Mom, where's my Saiyan suit? Woman, where is my Saiyan suit? It's under your bed. Thank you. It's in the wash. You bitch. This is intense. Everyone's getting there immediately. All right. Judging by how quickly his power level is closing in, mm -hmm. he should be here in about. Hey, so I need to talk to you about Bulma. You cannot be serious. <sighs> Look, we're not dating it. I, 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 I love that Yamcha has first had this conversation right now. It's like, I like, oh my god, really? <laughs> like, like Vegeta just cannot even believe it. But still, she's a really close friend, and you are actually doing this right now. Thank you. Hey guys. Oh great, and she's here too. No, Why no, don't what? all you idiots just start showing up? Hey, Vegeta! I was f***ing kidding! Can Shinhan and Chiaotzu? Huh, looks like we got here in time. Oh, hey, Vegeta. What? Nice shirt. And there it is! <laughs> now all we need is the Namekian and we'll have the whole potpourri of pathetic. I just, it, it's just everyone coming together again after all this time. Vegeta's there, though, and he's, he's new. He's new to the squad. <laughs> Uh, been here the whole time, actually. Oh, what do you want, a medal? Nice shirt. Kiss my ass, green man. Yeah, it's the kind of shirt that really screams, <sighs> He's, He's coming! coming! Oh, yeah. The Frieza family theme, it feels like. Wait, now he's pulling back. Oh, now he's stupid. going back that way. <laughs> What's he doing? Daddy, we can park anywhere we want. Now, son, if this is anything like that jockstrap incident, we don't want to get boxed in. So has anyone else noticed that there are two power levels around the same strength on that ship? Yeah, it's probably his dad. He has a father? Makes sense. Everyone has a dad. Except me. Ha! Your dad's dad. So's so yours. So's yours. <laughs> So essentially, we have two opponents of equal strength that my father could only beat after fulfilling an ancient alien prophecy. So this, a lot happens all at once in this show. Uh, so this is like, they almost have to explain what is happening. They're like, whoa, 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 this is all happening suddenly. It didn't like they were prepped for him to show up. That's why they're all, half of them are in casual clothes. Does anyone in particular know exactly what we're doing here besides trying not to lose it? Guys, we are so screwed. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, this is completely crazy. Why did I come here again? We're going to die. I'm going to die. You know, if he weren't doing it, I would. Nah, thanks, Krillin. You don't Krillin. need Kakarot or anyone else. You have enough badass saying on your team as it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, you can all just sit on your hands while I go up there and take care of business. <laughs> and now begins the... Because the, 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 the bad man shirt is famous, but we're like, all right, everyone's ready for the bad man shirt, but not ready for the diff... It's like, it just says different things randomly. <laughs> I'm the prince of all juicy... That's right, Kakarot. I'm feeling juicy. Yes. No. Or maybe we could hide our power levels, sneak closer to them, survey the situation from up close, and perhaps catch them by surprise. Y'all are bitches. 
Well, son, is this what you were expecting? My god, this is droll. We're so far out in the space, d d d dicks. There's not even a space radio shack. shack. Much less a space best buy. Bye. 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 Circuit, Circuit City. City. Are you all right? Uh, yes, Daddy, just processing. And wouldn't you know it, no place to buy more RAM. Aren't we all? But I won't lie, Daddy. I'm absolutely ecstatic. When that filthy monkey arrives back on the planet, he'll return not to the smiling faces of his dear friends and family, but a total, unadulterated Ooh. genocide. Damn, Martin. I don't know if that little Karibo's still in the chat right now, but damn, what a br what a read. What a read just thinking about Goku. Speaking of which, soldiers, the scavenger hunt will proceed as such. Normal human heads are worth one point. Namekian heads are worth 20. Mm -hmm. Filthy half saying brats, 50. Yeah. And if you find any miserable, odious, insubordinate, full-blooded monkey garbage, mm -hmm. you win. Thanks, well, Frieza. Off you go. Yes, sir! <laughs> it's that boy. So, how many points are those? Uh, but let's just jump into this, because it's a continuation of the plot, essentially, where we were left off here. So The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. GT, 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 T, 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 Oh my, um, are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Absalom. All right, Frieza's just over the- God, I love this joke. This next formation. Now, before we move in, we need a good plan. at it. So here it is. All of you will attack from the front, and while you're being slaughtered, I'll flank him, taking him from behind and securing the kill. Ready? Break. No. Yeah, no. Personally, I don't think Bulma <laughs> should be here. I'm yeah, Vegeta's not a great leader. All right. So the reason why it's dumb cumster instead of dumb cum dumpster is that shirt's not a VTuber. Cool. Battlefield is no place for a lady. And yet you're sticking around. Hi-oh! So worry about her safety. And as my close personal friend, possibly even bestie. God! Friend zone Yamcha is amazing. I think we need to consider- Can you want to explain to Yamcha here what 10 pounds of torque does to a human ear? Rips it off? Very good, Gohan. <laughs> Die. Yeah, Krillin's not wrong. Oh. Thank you so much, Shinichi. Appreciate it, man. And here we are. Is this him, sweetie? Is this the man who hurt you so? No, Daddy. This is a new one. Ah, oh, great delivery from Martin there. This is a new one. Who this? Who this? So, you must be Frieza. Actually, it's Lord Frieza. Really? Then why is there an eye in it? <laughs> We're asking the real questions here, folks. Okay, why? If you didn't want us to call Frieza Frieza, why did you spell Frieza as Frieza? It's Frieza is pronounced GIF, okay, everybody? Frieza is pronounced GIF! That isn't. Huh, gonna have to fix that one when I get back then. Anyway, I'm mm. here to kill you. <laughs> oh, my, my. Mm. Not five minutes on this wayward rock, and we already have a volunteer. Tear, tear, dead man. Oh, God, this, is, this bit was only for like two episodes, and I love it. There's so many different ways you can interpret it with him just going, it's like, no matter what, he freezes on one and it goes a completely opposite direction. Soldiers, do your jobs. Lord Frieza, with all due respect. This sounds like insubordination. <laughs> See, that's that's just a straight up Mr. Burns line. No, Smithers, uh, with all due respect. That sounds like insubordination, Smithers. He just turned an entire squad into a pile of limbs. And that sounds like it's not my problem. Man, move your bitch and bitch ass over, bitch. What, power level of five? Shit, ain't nobody got time for that. Well, 
that ain't right. <laughs> Freezer's got his back turned like, uh-huh. Yeah, we are. Consider that a warning. Either leave now or die. Ooh, is that an ultimatum? I love ultimatums. Here's mine. Either die to him or die to me. God, this trope. This trope. What? What just happened? Give it a second. No, really, they're just... No, no, hold on. I get it's there's so many of these so much anime does this when they do this but we're like all right we're it's the trope what are we gonna do with it he's aware of the trope yee yeah it took me a whole three months to get that one down they make it look a lot easier than it really is I bet the real they do. hard part was that guy's armor <laughs> I ended up going through a dozen mannequins before I cinched that one I actually invoice in this guy here you can hear it you missed a spot <laughs> Lord Frieza. The oh. Yep, that's me, everybody. <laughs> the fuck? Like, he's just like, so confused, like, but why? You know that was our last minion, right? Who cares? We have more at home. No, I mean, now we have no one to fly the ship. I can fly it. Son, we do not fly ourselves. Flying is for the, help. For the help. So, uh... <laughs> Curious, what's with all the spare parts sticking out of you? Impudent little. These are not <laughs> spare parts. They look pretty spare. What you are looking at is the ultimate culmination of science and nature. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Uh huh. You know, the only reason you continue to breathe is because I need something to entertain me until the Super Saiyan arrives. Oh, really? Because if it's a Super Saiyan you're looking for, I can fill the part. What? Imagine hearing deliveries like this, and then Kaiser says, Oh, I can't play Trunks. It's like, motherfucker, give me a gun. Ch -ch -ch you're playing Trunks. Ah! Yeah, you're too good at this. You literally sound perfect. Ch -ch -ch you are playing Trunks. Get him in the booth, Nick. Open the door, Nick. Get in there. <laughs> Peer pressure in a good way. <laughs> oh, you hear that, Daddy? I can fill the part. It's like a five-year-old trying to play police officer. Or like how you play Pretty Pink Princess. Daddy, not in front of the malcontent. But it's so cute when you do it. I haven't done that since I was eight. Eight, 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 like eight. Great delivery. Oh, Here it comes! Sounds. That's... that's my dad. Mm. You sure, Gohan? Either that or he just fell Frieza's mom. Who here just thought of Frieza with boobs? Really? I'm the only one? <laughs> yes! He must never know. Frieza with, like, okay, girl girl versions of Frieza's race would be sexy. Yeah, and? What, the, what is the tail? Yeah, it's, yeah. What? It's human enough! Uh, is the third Frieza form still human enough? N no. Chat must never know. Those, those eyes. Yeah, when this came out, this must have been so goddamn confusing. The same as pizza. Pizza! No! 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 no. Alright, I guess this is the night bitches die. And Frieza's bitches. I will say this. He, you know what he has, everybody? Frieza has pizza's D. Pizza TST. That's from Doctor. Yeah, you know. Oh, perfect music for that. Everywhere. <laughs> All right, get down here. I'm going to call Space AAA and have them tow us. Thank you very much. Did it what? work? What? Frieza, what? Do okay, so I, I should have just been. Nah. If that's all it should have been. Wait. Well, I think it worked. Nah. But on E, Sliggy Blue! Well, Frieza, looks like you dropped the ball. No. 
No trunks. Drop to the ball. Peak Leon Kennedy. Drop to the ball. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no Frieza, your small time. You almost destroyed the whole planet there. Sorry, I got a little bit carried away. Doesn't matter now, though. Our little Super Saiyan is dead. Here it comes! Dead. Cadaverific. Hey, Frieza! What? You should split! <laughs> Here we go. If you're trying to be clever, you're sorely yeah! lacking, huh? Oh shit! Oh. My favorite! Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. Oh, we're finally here. Where's Frieza? Oh, there he is. Oh, and that, and there, and here. Is that his brain? Guys. I think that person is a Super Saiyan! Like hell he is! Spiky gold hair, incredible power! You don't know that he's a Super Saiyan! <laughs> Maybe he's superhuman, huh? Maybe you slackers just haven't been trying hard enough! Says the non-Super Saiyan. F*** off! Okay, so... Freeze is dead. <laughs> this, in the show, confused me. Cause I'm like, wasn't that the villain of the last arc? Why does he die so easily? Don't worry. That just happens in the show all the time. And anime in general. So... The jokes were obviously, like, it was like the yelling. It's just like, why are you standing there, Frieza? Um, you even see the snippets of TN's future character with him always barbing uh, Vegeta, which is fantastic. Uh, Frieza's gone now uh, because that's just what the show happened. But also the blue screen of death joke was so fantastic. And I'll never forget the, when we did, we think we premiered this live. I think if I'm remembering correctly, the chat's reaction uh, not chat, sorry, the whole crowd of, like, I think a couple hundred people were all like, ah, when the blue screen of death came up, actually. And then all of a sudden started slicing, and they went, yeah! They all roared! It was fantastic. You murdered my princess! Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Children? Yeah. Okay, sort of thought you'd be a little more pissed. Oh, blindingly so. Mind if I see your sword? What? Why? I just wish to hold it. No! Oh, come on, be neighborly. I'm not your neighbor. I also think I hate you. Look, after what you did, I can fit what's left of my son into a meat pie. Let me see your stupid sword! <sighs> Fine. I just can't believe he does this. Nothing nefarious. I just wanted to That's inspect stupid. the craftsmanship. Admire the temper. Test its edge on you, you insubordinate hicks! Mm. Oh, still oh sure fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Sealed it. Oh! <laughs> no. No, this music is so interesting. We can make a deal. If you spare my life, I'll give you a planet. Three planets. Two and a half. You just went down. I'm a Hagler? Yeah. And that's it for King Cold, everybody. Drawing me with the Riz. Good work, team. Thanks, Krillin. Like, it, what's nuts to me is this is like it for the sword. Essentially, that's it for the sword, everybody. Hey there, guys. F*** this guy. I'm about to go meet Goku. Just follow me. Wait, did he just say my dad? Wait, go on. 
We don't know if we can trust this guy. Thanks, Vegeta. I also brought snacks. But the Bible does say love thy neighbor. You're a Buddhist. A hungry, a hungry Buddhist. Line 300 meters northwest. My line. Near idiot rock. So that's what they called it before idiot crater. Idiot rock. It's me, baby. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering why I brought you here. Snacks! To kill us! To kill snacks! Goku is going Close. to land near here in approximately three hours. Until then... Here let's all have a drink. I've got soda, beer, and heat tap. Heat tap! You gotta make sure you get yourself a delicious, delicious heat tap. If there's one thing people in the future know, it's that the delicious, delicious taste of heat tap is the exact thing you need to give you electrolytes. And that is what plants need. Plants need heat tap! We just, we love that, like, oh my god, there's a brand in this show that they, they're, they're monetizing. This is, this is, this is DBZ's Duff Beer, guys, okay? This is heat tap. Isn't it a little early to start drinking? Hey, five o'clock was 20 hours ago. So, stranger, what's your name? Can't say. Well, Mr. Can't Say, I'm Krillin. That's not funny. What Great delivery. It? So, you know my Here dad, comes. right? Well, sort of. Everyone, I want you to know that this, was, this next joke is mine. I get to take full credit for this. You may lay th all these jokes down before my feet, for I was the one like, hey, that'd be pretty funny. Oh, by the way, chat, what, 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 what oh, wow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really now? Most replayed scene, huh, chat? I bet it was you. You know who I'm talking to. You're in the chat. I know you're here. You've rewatched it a lot of times. This, this, this young lad does not know what's about to happen to him. Hit it. Really, I've just heard a lot about him. It's kind of- So, hey, like, just gonna throw this out there. You're really cute. Uh, well, you know, my mom always said I was a cute kid. <laughs> oh, a mama's boy, huh? I'll be your mommy. Ah! Yeah, 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 that's the best way of putting it, everybody. All right, I mean, that's, that's the reality of the situation here. He can't screw up the timeline. He has to be very quiet. He could fuck it all up. He has to not say anything. At the corner, take a fright. SHUT UP! <laughs> she doesn't know who he is! She doesn't know! That's what makes this joke so fucking fun. This is where we can tell these kind of fucking hilarious jokes so they don't know each other. Misunderstanding is the height of humor, in my opinion. I'll be your mommy. Can I have another heat tap? Yes! <laughs> yes By the way, that jacket is awfully familiar. Um... Yeah, I even made it myself. Capsule Corp logo? Even cut it short to show off my midriff. If he's never met him before, how the hell does this kid know where Kakarot is going to land? And he can't actually be a damn Saiyan. Either he's a liar or... Maybe. Wait a second! Did someone drink the last heat tab? I'll kill you! <laughs> Mmm, I like this heat tap. It's good. Yes, it's Vegeta and his wonderful shirts. <laughs> Two hours and 45 minutes later. Tien, I'm bored. Chao Tzu, we only have to wait a little while longer. We'll say hello to Goku, and then we'll go home. Can we get McDonald's? Only if you're good. <laughs> Ah, oh, so cute. What? What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. What, do you like what you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Eyes to yourself. Yeah. I don't swing that way. I'm a real man. <laughs> hey, Mr. Pickle. Yeah. Okay, so we all came up with different t-shirt jokes. I think Blowjob Princess was mine. <laughs> Why didn't you go with the rest of the Namekians to your home planet? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you just go to Vegeta with the rest of the Saiyans? Hey, I've already got one hitting on me over here. I don't need another. <laughs> oh, thank God. All right, everybody. Goku should be landing any moment now. <gasps> well, I don't see him, so you're... Trunks is loud and in your face and has access to a time machine. 
whenever Trunks isn't on screen, people should be going, Where's Trunks? I think you've been lying to us the whole time. Really, There's Vegeta? No way you could. Oh shit! That could be anyone. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Oh, this conversation. Do you think the carpet matches the drapes? Oh, do yours? Krillin! What? It was a legitimate question. I mean, a legitimate question. Whatever. It's just very personal. I mean, do yours? Yeah. What? It's called manscaping. It's weird. It's hygienic. <laughs> mm. The goth kid's hanging out back. Ha ha ha! What a fucking bitch. 